What is up gentlemen, welcome back to this new tutorial. So now we're going to be learning how can we load a JavaScript file into our WordPress plugin. So I'm going to get back to my PHP file, this one, this file is where you initialize your plugin. I'm going to scroll all the way down, I'm going to start with a function. But before that, let's do a comment. So let's call this one, add JavaScript file, just to keep everything organized. So I'm going to start with a function, so function over here, and let's call it add dash GS. And let's open the brackets like this and get down. So I'm gonna start with the web with a WordPress function. So webp nq nq scripts. But I don't want to use the, the the last s. So make it singular, just script, not scripts. Keep in mind that. So let's open the brackets again. And inside it, first parameter is gonna be custom, custom like this. And if you are loading uh, style, you can change the custom to style but for now we're using the javascript so i'm gonna go with custom so in the second parameter i'm gonna be putting the file to our uh, javascript folder over here this is the our plugin so i'm gonna go to my scripts and i'm gonna right click and let's create a new folder like this and let's call it uh, gs which stands for javascript and inside it let's create a new file Control s and let's call it javascript dash file point gs which is the shortcut or the extension for javascript okay so we got this so let's uh direct wordpress to that file so it's over here so the first parameter over here is the plugin dear path like this and inside it let's include the file so make sure that you are using the double dash file like this uppercase so basically this first part is gonna lead us to this part over here to this uh, direction, e-commerce plugin. So after that, what we need to do is to direct WordPress to this JavaScript uh, file. So over here we have scripts. So let's add over here point and this point over here. Let's open the quotation marks and let's use scripts like this slash. And what do we have inside that script? We have the GS, the GS folder, another slash. And I have the JavaScript file, so Java script dash file point gs okay so let's close this one with a semicolon and i'm gonna get down so what we need to do right now is to execute this function so for that i'm gonna be using an add action hook so add action hook like this and inside the brackets i'm gonna be including first the webp in scripts this this hook over here webp in scripts make sure that you are that you have in this s at the end uh, not over here, over here we did the opposite, so over here we need that S. And in the second parameter we always put the name of the function that we want to execute, which is add slash or dash GS, like this. Let's open the quotation marks and let's add something like this. Okay, so I'm gonna close it. And also over here in my JavaScript file, I'd like to do something. So we can console log, console log is print, console log, we can, oops, log, we can, uh, can write something like like hello there our gs file is loaded properly okay we can close this one with a semicolon and let's get back over here and let's do refresh and i'm gonna right click inspect element to see how it's working jump into the console and let's see so as you can see we're having a problem with the source so source attributes the invalid uri so let me check over here what do we got so web nq scripts custom plugin dear path yes the problem is this path so we need to change it to the url and not the path so the url like this okay so let's do a refresh over here and let's see what's the problem as you can see now it's loading properly so as you can see the gs uh, file is loaded all over our templates also another point i want to mention which is in your template if you are creating a template like this you must include this one this uh, tag php tag with head at the top so so far i'm not having a navigation bar so if i have it i would include the header with header but now i'm just one i just want the the scripts all the scripts that i'm loading so include this with head to have access to all the scripts this is just an example the checkout you can see this checkout we can for example go to another template which is for example product just copy this one paste it over here and instead of checkout let's use products page like this and let's see 
Okay, so we'll right click over here and inspect elements and let's see the console. And as you can see, it's loaded. So that JavaScript is going to load everywhere in our plugin. By the way, this is a tutorial series on how to build an e-commerce plugin in WordPress. So if you are interested, you can see the tutorials down below on how to create that. So thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And if you're not subscribing, consider subscribing. So thanks a lot for watching. And I hope to see you in the coming tutorial. Take care.